As a free-to-play player in Warcraft Rumble, one of the most important things you can do is upgrade your leader. So today, I'm going to show you how to approach the Black Fathom Deep's dungeon, and in this case, we're in the Horde rotation, but to work on upgrading those dungeons, how we're going to attack Black Fathom Deep's, and some good choices on how you might navigate your way through it. Before we get started, of course, big thank you to Warcraft Rumble for sponsoring this stream. I really appreciate your support. And for those of you who are watching this, if you haven't played Warcraft Rumble before, it's a free-to-play game set in the Warcraft universe. Use the link below and give it a try. Let's go ahead and jump into Black Fathom Deeps. And we are in the Horde rotation, and we're going to go ahead and work on leveling up Gromish Hellscream, who's a phenomenal single-target DPS tank, who also gives bloodlust to his surrounding troops and so with that in mind we have some uh, we have some other support here the big one and let's actually go back out to the deck the biggest thing here and we're going to show you when we get into the first stage of this dungeon is making sure that you have some unbound troops in this case the safe pilot will be our option so you can take out some key factors in that first stage here we have a bunch of range dps that will go behind we're going to go with a second tank here to charge and keep ahead of gromish and keep gromish hellscream up and alive Obviously one of the strongest troops in the game with our Griffin Rider, and we do have Mighty Throw for extra range, so we can keep Griffin Rider separated from our Gromush a little bit. A little bit of splash DPS from our uh, from our Pyromancer because we want to take out some of the swarms we're going to encounter in this dungeon. And then finally, just one of the strongest troops in the game, Harpies. Great behind any tank, awesome for us to have. Let's go ahead and jump right in to our dungeon. And again, we're going to go ahead and go with Gromish. Let's begin. We're gonna go ahead and make our first selection. I'm gonna go with Divine Parchment because we have Bloodlust already and Bloodshot Greaves. We already have Bloodlust, we don't need more Bloodlust. And Elemental Minis deal double damage but gain vulnerability. I don't wanna make them into super glass cannons. I don't think we need it here. But deploying your leader grants a shield to nearby allies destroy, de 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 absorbing one attack. That's really valuable. Bloodlust plus defense for our troops, big win. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. Gurgle Murgle hurls long-range ice bolts, and oracles soothe the wounds of allies. All right, let's get ahead. This is actually the hardest of the three encounters in this dungeon. So here's our game plan. We're going to try to control gold early. We're going to work on the right-hand side, right? You can see these murlocs about to come in. They're going to walk across and take, take up root on this little island here. So we're going to take them out using that safe pilot. We're going to try to win the battle on the right-hand side. Once we're done winning on the right-hand side, then we'll go ahead and push over to the left-hand side. So that's our game plan, folks. Let me go ahead and send a little tankage this way. And I'm going to take control of the island with the safe pilot. Got all three of them. Love it. I really want to get control of this right-hand side. So let's go ahead and throw a little bit more behind here. I'm going to... Yeah, you know, I'm just going to continue with the fight on this side. I think we're going to win that tower really easily. Boom, tower controlled. And now it's our turn to go ahead and push to the left-hand side. We've got that tower done. I'm going to throw some splash damage behind my tank here. And see, now that tower is so great because it can control the Murlocs on the right-hand side, which is exactly what we need here. That one's a little bit out of range. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to split my Harpies so that one of my Harpies can go help on that side. And I'm going to defend that. I'm actually going to have to go ahead and defend that with Gromish. Harpy will take that one out behind, but we've already gotten this. See, look at this. We've already gotten that. The aerial support troops took out the Murlocs up high. I'm going to use my safe pilot to take out these Murlocs here. And now we are in a really good spot to put some real pressure on our opponents. I'm going to go ahead and set up this tank way in the back rather than try to push from up front. But look at how much damage we've already done to Gurgle Murgle. Love it. Love it there. A little more gold. I'm going to send this guy up the middle. And let's go ahead and put you out here. Let's Now that they're distracted, Harpies can go up and do their work up high. And we'll get the control of the Murlocs there. 
going to tank that damage. I'm not super worried about it, but I am going to go ahead and send a tank this side to stop him from getting that gold node. Didn't even need it. We already crushed Gurgle Murgle. Right? So control the Murlocs, work the right-hand side, then go up the left-hand side. That's the key for our first stage here in Black Fathom Deeps. All right, let's go ahead and jump into our next phase of this dungeon. Nice little reward there for beating Gurgle Murgle. Gurgle, you're Murgle. You got Murgled. Choosing our relic. Okay, so each gold you mine partially heals your minis. We're going to try to control a gold node here, so that's con that's th that's considerable. At 50% health, your minis blink, teleporting backwards. Ah. On death, your minis explode, damaging nearby enemies and poisoning them. I do like a little extra damage here for control with all of those. The idea of mining gold to partially heal your minis is good, though, because we are going to try to control that right-hand node. So, hmm... Minis explode, damaging your bodies and poisoning them versus healing your minis and when you mine gold. I think that we're going to go ahead and take the anointed pickaxe here in this one. And let's go ahead and take on the Baron. Turning the waters here, brackish and toxic, stay on dry land or fly over. We do have some flying troops, which is helpful. But again, there's three lanes here. We're not going to try to control all three lanes. Let's take a look at the map here for a second. Our job is going to be to control... We're going to try to control this right-hand lane and make this node ours for all of our healing, and we're going to try to fight this way. We're not going to completely ignore this left-hand side, except for defense, and we're going to fight over to the right-hand side. That's going to be our goal here. So let's go ahead and do it. We do have this annoying gargoyle to contend with to start things off. These drakes are a real problem, so we're going to want to tank the drakes, and then use our other troops to get on top of them. So I think I might have put that a little bit too close, but it's okay. We survive. Let's go and actually mine that node right now to try to help these minis stay alive a little bit longer. Because we do need a little bit of health on them. And there we go. A little bit of healing is nice. I'm going to set up Gromish in the back. These drakes are a real problem, but we have the ability to fight them with the flying troops, with the ranged troops. Let's go ahead and put a little DPS behind and then send you over here. I'm going to use a safe pilot. And we are able to defend there nicely. Right? And look, we're already pressuring up the middle, which we like. I'm going to go ahead and get this. Eh, I'm at one. Let's hold on for a second. I don't really need that much healing right now. We're going to continue chipping away here, but it's not really that big of a deal. Notice that their, the flying troops do not get hurt at all by that poison. I'm going to try to keep this guy over here. Let's once again get a little bit of uh, tankage in front. Winning that's nice, because now we can actually make a play on that node. I'm going to throw a safe pilot here. Especially to get rid of that Banshee. We did not want the Banshee stealing any of our troops there. And now we're starting to really cook with gas. I'm going to set, set, set Gromish in the back. Continue fighting here in the middle. We're putting some real hurt. Let's go ahead and... No, let's not let you get that at all. We'll take control of that. We'll take that gold. And now it's an easy dub. Let's go. Right? These dungeons are very doable even as a free-to-play player. But you have to approach them with some level of strategy, right? So in this case, we didn't worry about the left lane at all. We let some of those ranged troops chip it down, and we ended up winning that left lane, even though it wasn't a big concern of ours. We focused on the right, got the gold node, and poof, right forward to go ahead and get a big win. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this fight. It's definitely not a it's the easiest of the three fights but you do have to be a little aggressive here it's a long fight you're actually going to win this one probably in overtime but you can't take too long or you might run out of time in the fight so our strategy here is going to be to first defend on this right hand side then take out this of our first three bosses right we have our three heads of uh heads of our bosses here the akumai once we kill them all, then this waterfall, which kills troops that touch it, they'll go behind for our final fight. So our order is going to be take out this one and this tower first, then go to the right-hand side, then push down the middle for the left one and try to see if we can, as we take this one out, take this one out and push all the way through for the final fight. Again, we're going to go into overtime, but we can't dally too much. We do have to get moving. 
So let's go ahead and, st and start this one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to... I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and tank the damage on the right-hand side. Not even worry about that right-hand side damage. Because we really do need to get, get aggressive on the left. So let's get really aggressive here on the left. And see if we can take out this, this head fast. I don't love that we, t we didn't let that guy go. But the head is down very early, which is great. That's a good start for us. Now our next step is going to be to go ahead and work on that left hand side. I'm going to I'm going to tank that damage on the le on the left hand side. Let's put you up. We're going to save this safe pilot here on the right to try to stop these bandits who are really going to be annoying and the bandits are all gone. Love that. I would like to get some splash damage behind this tank here. I don't think I have it. That's okay. That's okay. So let's hold on for a second. We're going to wait just a moment. And I like that we're getting a little bit of damage there on that tower early. That's really nice for us. So again, we're going to set up some damage here. I want to make sure that those guys don't get anything done. Right? So we're not, like, super pushing the pace, but we're not dallying either. We're, 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 making, we're not taking too much time. I want to get a hold of this node and be the one who farms it, right? We don't want to give away too much farming to the to our opponent on that gold node. So I'm going to go ahead behind, and we get, we get the second one popping just at the right time. That's awesome. I think we're going to win this tower here. Yes, we've won the tower. Perfect. So now that we won that tower, it's going to be time for us to go ahead and get to work on the right-hand side. I'm going to defend the tower with these. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and tank that quill board. Not worried about that quill board right now. So now we're going to go ahead and try to win and, th and win the fight on the right-hand side. And let's go ahead and time this. I think I put it at the right level. Boom. Bye. All right. So let's... Let's set up our Torin way back here. I love that we're able to control this bridge a little bit right now. That's phenomenal. And we now have our next our next big uh, group of swarms coming. So we're going to put our own set of swarms behind that. But look, we still have control of the bridge. And we're going to lose all the troops that go to fight on the right-hand side, unfortunately. Right? That's one of the problems with pushing on the right-hand side. You have to be willing to, to lose a little bit there. Let's go ahead and drop the safe pilot here. And I think that we're going to be in great shape. Now I think that we can actually go and start working for the final fight. You know, some people say that you should send send all these troops left here before uh, initially. I probably should have done that. But I think we're going to win this fight anyway. Right? So we probably should have changed that directional to send all the troops left and not get into this fight early on. But we were strong enough that we were able to time it and get the win. So now we're getting into the sudden death portion here. We are going to have to pick up the pace a little bit just to make sure we get this fight done in time and don't go for a draw. I'm going to start putting troops on the right-hand side now. But we should be in good shape. We're getting some good damage. I'm going to send the safe pilot here. And I'm going to re redirect everything into this right hand into this right hand head. I'm going to go ahead and also send um, send some action up the middle here. 19 seconds left. We are we are getting a little close with this. We are getting just a little close. Let's send the safe pilot for some damage. I'm going to try to go with some of my faster troops. We got it done. Let's go. Let's go. So we were a little fast to lose with that one. I probably should have, once we took the right-hand tower down, changed that directional arrow and sent them across the bridge to all push from the left across to the right. But doesn't matter. We got it done anyway. And now we get to do some upgrades for Gromish Hellscream, which is great. Your leader being upgraded is not just important for your leader to be more powerful, but also because that's what's going to make some of your troops more powerful in those spots. So let's upgrade the army. And let's see. We can upgrade our leader, which, you know, considering that Gromish is only level 9, I would love to do my silver on my Unbound, 
But Gromish being only level 9, I'm going to go ahead and get that upgrade in. So now he's going to be one level higher, which is beautiful. And there we go. Kaboom. And now Gromish will be a little bit stronger in our fights. We've cleared the dungeon. And we could go back in and attempt that dungeon again for another clear. Also go ahead and do it with our other heroes, our other champions. But now you have the guide for how to do Black Fathom Deeps. And as a free-to-play player, this is like the most important thing, one of the most important things you can do, is make sure you're always doing the dungeons to the furthest you can every single rotation. Because that's going to be an easy way to get level upgrades for the troops that don't involve you having to grind the troops directly themselves. So that's it for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much to work Rumble for supporting this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, use the link below to download Warcraft Rumble, and I will see you inside of the game. Take care.